Hello and welcome to the second game between Nickname and Tomok in the uh, in the winners bracket in the Lion War tournament. So we have Nickname in blue and Tomok in red. So spoiler alert for the first game. <coughs> Sorry about that. Tomok has uh, has selected this map which means that he lost the first game and right off the gate Tumuk picks this spot and nicknamed this spot and I'm actually a bit surprised that Tumuk picks so much towards the corner of the map it seems like he's kind of trapping himself somewhat I much prefer nicknames pick So yeah, this is uh, two of the very best players. So look forward to a high skill game. And the uh, nickname is uh, is playing like a monster at the at the uh, like currently. He's uh, he's beating the best players left and right. And it almost seems like it does it with ease. I'm sure he doesn't. I'm sure he's uh, having a hard time. But the games, when you just observe them, it it doesn't look hard for him at all, which is kind of crazy. The games have been fairly one-sided. But let's see what happens in this one. If... Uh, if Tumuk can, can do something about that. Because I would say Tumuk is a title contender. Uh, my favorites currently are probably AKA Nickname and then Tumuk or Animov. But uh, But nickname just seems on another level right now, and probably also AKA. But we haven't seen AKA against any of the hardcore guys just yet. We did see him against Infinia, which um, is definitely a top top player. But he didn't play his best game, like how we know him. So. Uh, so it, I don't feel like AKA has been challenged, really. Like, uh, like nickname has. But uh, that's of course up to each own interpretation. That's just my view on things right now. So this is a very chaotic starting picking phase. And I would assume that nickname starts here. And Tomok starts here. But that seems very tough for Tomok. Because Nickname can fairly easy, easily expand to all of this back territory. And he, he can go down here. He can really cut Tomok off. But now that I think about it, Nickname doesn't have any gas. He will, he will need to go up here or down here for having any gas. While Tomok has two gases. So that's definitely a... Oh, he can also go for this one. And as we've seen every time so far, a long line. Tomok is also doing a long line. That's that's the new thing. So I wonder if uh, if if nickname has the cars to build eco here. Like we always see eco right out the the start, but I doubt he will do it here because he knows where Tomog is. Tomog is really.
pounding on that gas. So he's building tanks and he's building air. Nickname goes directly for the gas. He's not building eco, neither is Tomok. And he's building his base down here. He knows this is uh, up for grabs. Which does mean that suddenly this is not just nickname territory. So basically Tomok gets all of this. But he has to fight for it. But he's still very cornered. And with the new entrenchments, nickname can really cause some pain just doing entrenchments here. Here, here. Like imagine if, if nickname just have strong entrenchments here and here, here and here, then he then he can just cap all of the map and wait for his ego to explode and then take on Tomok. Here comes the tanks. He splits them up and I guess he can... I don't know if he just expects nickname to be down here. <coughs> Helis right out of his uh, his airport. He's also going down here with the air. Even though he's right next to the buildings, he doesn't see them. Wow. That's insane. That is kind of insane. I didn't think it was that bad. That tank was actually uh, hocking the barracks and yet it didn't spot it so that's good to know Tomok is going for the gas nickname built his second base over here and for me one would think that Tomok could just push everything down here as a start and then destroy this base <clears throat> but uh, but he also wants to expand of course but it could be a, a, a devastating blow but of course the entrenchments could really help out nickname it and it would probably be more difficult than than you would think or at least I would think I think no Tomo still doesn't see any of this he puts down a town he's almost out of gas so he has to watch out for that when he's moving the tanks and sending the helis at the same time now he spots a building so he knows there's something there This is good for Tomok. Maybe it's time for Tomok to have proxy bases now. Let's look at the ego. 450 for Tomok. 370 for a nickname. So Tomok is really ahead here. Nickname puts down a uh, expanding barracks. Nickdem is using his infantry for the entrenchment and then he's trying to have the artillery in the background. But 
Chomuk is just moving around. Still can't see any of the buildings. And Nickname is just protecting with his uh, with his infantry and keeping the 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 artillery in the back. So I'm not sure what what Chomuk's plan is with the tanks, but he certainly needs more gas and he has it on the way. I wonder if he will be surprised about this proxy base. These troops will kind of split nickname space even further, so he will have three separate bases i know this is i don't know if you can call this space but you know what i mean tomoka is just desperately searching for anything he can snipe or pick anything he can use these tanks for instead of just having them doing nothing he's building some eco and now tomoka is just pushing with the artillery and then suddenly it doesn't help much to have your infantry entrenched. So let's see how nickname handles this. Chumuk still doesn't see any of this, but he's firing at the barracks now. And nickname got his anti air up. This will be tough to defend. So he's putting his units, infantry, back in the entrenchment. They can reach. They do have prolonged uh, HP or more HP. So I guess it was kind of in the hope that these will fire at, uh, at the infantry and then his, his artillery can fire at Tomok's artillery. And I guess that kind of works, but he would maybe have to give up this dot. Because every time a new infantry is uh, spawned, they will go to this entrenchment. Except this guy. And here comes the helis. They will meet quite a bit of a surprise though. And I could imagine that Tomoki will cancel that in a minute. Maybe not. He's uh, it's all or nothing now. He's committing to it. No, he's uh, that's a cancel. But too late. Everything except one goes down. So that's a hard loss there. It's really going slow this way for Tomok. and I guess it's because he doesn't have ah he put down one barracks. And he's starting to cap near this gas. And the tank down here died? Okay. I don't know how long these guys have been down there. I must admit I did not keep my attention to that. But this is uh, this is looking grim for nickname. But at the I do like his approach here, just sacrificing those infantry. Because these two artillery are really doing work. The infantry are spawning fast enough for the artillery to, to solely attack the infantry. And the infantry uh, has a special bonus against uh, the artillery's shots I think as I recall so against bombers and artillery maybe strikers as well I'm not sure to be honest so don't don't uh, put too much take that with a grain of salt let's say so two of nicknames artillery has I don't know killed five of two 
That being said, Nickname cannot use his inventory for anything else than than a sacrifice right now. This is a big army all of a sudden. And I guess Tumuk is aware of that. He's not. So that will come as a surprise in a minute. Tumuk puts down a barracks here for capping. Nickname is quickly digging in, trying to defend this small push from Tumuk. But Tumuk just tries to go around it. And now Tumuk has quite a big advantage with his air. But he's not he's not gaining much from these tanks. Nickname with a capping barracks. I think this is a misclick. Tomo can just keep attacking this area with air but I think it's hell no it's there but it might go down soon you can't push through here so that that really shows the strength of uh, of entrenchments I think it was really smart to like normally you would also put the artillery in the entrenchment It was really smart to just sacrifice the, the, the inventory. And up here Tomok is trying to hit the artillery with tanks. And look at all of Nickname's commandos. He has the infantry to go forward. Artillery in the background and his Sam's at the very back. These guys made it through, they checked for the town, they are checking for the gas, but nothing is there. Tomok puts down another airport. And now it's suddenly Tomok's time to defend. Nickname got two commandos through. These can this can cause some havoc. <coughs> Unfortunately he has them capping this because he deleted the blue line. So that's a that's a big giveaway. And uh, let's see no Tomok doesn't react to it yet. Where does he send his air? They're attacking this, but I don't see the actual command anywhere. Was it this one? It, mu it must have been. I just thought it was uh, units, land units. The commandos made it through. Tumuk, Tumuk definitely knows that they are there.
Tomok has a single unit down here. Still surviving. There's no air support or anti-air support for Nicknames Unity, so this will also be a tough one. But now Nickname knows the the air is out on a run, so he's he's going for it. He's going for that gas now. And <laughs> he put down a very small entrenchment here. And he built this as far out as you can. And just a small hint here, at least I experienced when I do this, you can risk that the troops will spawn inside this area and you can't do anything with them from, from that moment on. This gas will probably go down, it does. Nickname got his Sam's up uh, at the front line. And I think it's important to uh, to really keep an eye on your opponent's Sam's because this usually means that he has moved the Sam's from here. It's not that he suddenly built four more, it's more that he moved them away from here. So, of course, Tomuk is busy with something else right now. He's trying to defend this gas so he can use his air at all. But my point is that if you, if suddenly those four Sams just spawn here, you could try to um, make a run for it around the Sams and down, uh, down at the buildings. And you probably will not be able to kill anything because Nick, uh, nickname would take his Sam's back, but at least you would force nickname to have four or five Sam's here and four Sam's here. Tanks are out of gas. Tomok's single soldier here is dead. Let's look at the ego. 940 for Tomok. 910 for nickname. So Tomok is still ahead on eco. And I just he, he's really been inefficient here. Like this should have been Tomok's a long time ago. A single bombing run with all these bombers and then Tumuk could start to cap all of this. And for every minute that all of this is nicknames, nickname is just earning a bunch of capital that could have been Tumuk's. Nickname is starting to have a lot of Sams here and here, so he's well defended against air, which is just another reason for Tomok to really use it where there is no Sams. I know he's slow on gas though right now, but he, he got two. He could send all of these bombers. Nickname is building eco. Let's see where these bombers are going. They're going at it here. Yes, 
and I think they will hit just at the right time where this Samus might be gone it's at least damage so I understand that it's now or never could also send these two helis down here <coughs> it's now now our nickname is starting to get his own heli army and it's just it hurts me so much that <laughs> it hurts my my heart that <laughs> that Tomok has not been able to kill this yet like it's really frustrating for me to see <laughs> But now he does have a nice uh, option to to really hurt nickname on this base. But here comes the hillies from nickname that will end up being very well played, like going all the way up here. They are in a hurry. And it's probably because he wants to kill this gas before all of uh, Tumok's bombers annihilates this base. And now comes the bombers down here. I just, I think this is 10 minutes too late. He could also attack this, put some infantry over here to make nickname split this army. He could put down an entrenchment very close to that would force nickname to do something at least. But this is an issue for Tomo because he has no anti-air. And I don't know how he will defend that. But he could, of course, with the with the helis, kinda. But he doesn't have the gas anymore. This is a nice push, but again, no gas. Tomok is so close to to be able to do some devastating damage and nickname but nickname is just hanging on by a thread by keep on killing this gas keeping Tomok's uh, tanks and planes standing still doing nothing just when it matters the most And I have no idea what what this is about. I guess it's to defend against commandos which are incoming. But I would probably just have sent infantry up instead and then put down another barracks here. Instead of putting it all the way in the back. You also have a few inventory here standing still. And he still haven't killed this barracks. It should go down now though. But not without hurting Tomok once again. And I don't know what will happen if these helis don't have any spot to land on. Does that count like uh, like the airport being destroyed? Will they just 
explode? I'm not sure actually. It yeah. They just exploded. I think that was because of the territories. And now no gas and nickname is attacking this airfield with two commandos and that will hurt a lot if Tomok doesn't manage to do anything about it he needs to rush those units and he does now and he needs a air command now yeah though it doesn't have any gas where's the they are moving but I don't see the command I don't know if I'm just blind today. It's the second time I've not been able to spot the air command, and that's that's really, really hurting. That's a big loss for Tomok. But finally, he pushes through here. But he he could have had this so long ago. Tomok can see this as well, so he could try to send some infantry up to, to take that gas out. It's barely defended by anything. And Nickname doesn't care, he's just moving around those entrenchments. But Nick, uh, Tomok, sorry, it does spot them. Nickname doesn't know about this barracks. And <coughs> Nickname is just keeping Tomok very, very busy up here. Because he needs to use his air for this, and otherwise he would maybe, like he would continue uh, with putting his pressure down here. Probably not here because there's so much defense, but he could have had his helis here and he could attack here or here. But because he's just, he's just busy with not dying up here, so he can't really use his air for anything else than defense right now instead of doing any clever counter attacks nickname puts down an entrenchment but Chumok sees it and moves around I wonder if if nickname has taken the lead eco wise now 1000 for Chumok 1500 that's a big eco lead now that's a very big eco lead and that's because Nickname has been busy building towns all over the place as in all over the place and see this is how quickly it can be done two helis on that barracks yeah and Tomac resigns wow that was a that was one hell of a game very very fun to watch you can actually see that Tomok was quite a bit ahead in empire value quite a bit almost 1500 at one point 1500 he 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 had moments in this game where everything was going his way and then nickname just started to to outplay him basically and here nickname really starts to invest and you can see that at at this point 871 
Tomok is just at a standstill eco-wise and you you cannot do that against nickname for so many ticks only increasing your eco with 50 then you're gonna lose and I think that was yeah I don't know exactly but that that west side of the map Tomok was was not efficient enough and um, it also it, it's also what cost him the uh, at least the helis attack on his gas right because if nickname did not have that territory he would not be able to reach <clears throat> with his helis so this is where i wonder if this is was it this early that nickname killed both gases? Did he kill both gases? I can't recall, to be honest. But that's a lot of gas killing, right? Every time it goes down, it's because nickname destroyed some gas. So yeah, well, uh, very well played. That means that Tumok will join us in the loser's bracket all the other losers <laughs> and nickname is on to the to the next match in the in the winners bracket and i just want to say good luck to who whoever he's facing that's uh that's gonna be a very interesting game i think maybe that's aka so that's uh that's almost like the final an early early final uh, that's my final at least those two guys so it will uh, that will be one hell of a game and uh, I can't wait to watch that I actually think nickname announced that he would stream let me just see yeah against aka today and today when I'm recording this will probably be way too late for uh, for you because this will not be up today I think uh, let's see now nah, it will probably be a, a day or two I don't know he's playing aka the 15th of uh, October Sunday so uh, look out for that he will be streaming the game in the in the discord very exciting game and I will have hard, a hard time not joining in and uh, watching that. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I'll have to watch it live. Anyways, good luck to everyone else in the tournament. Hope you enjoyed this game and uh, learned a bunch. I, uh, I always learn something when I watch Nickname uh, and Tomok as well for that matter. So yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for tuning in. Have a awesome day, and I'll see you around hopefully. Bye.